that's probably what This quick video will take a look at uh, a couple of people exploring an old um, theater. It's quite entertaining. It's quite old. It has a lot of variables in it that are indeed entertaining. Let me get this on the screen here real quick. I won't get everything in, but some of it. One moment, please. Way down here. The Penthouse Cinema, now atop this theater. Look, this, there's a theater, like a cinema screen up there. This was a cinema screen too, I think. This is a widescreen one. This place is in bad shape, dude. Jeez, you can tell how ornate it would have been at one it's point. It's just all falling off. And all you have left is the shell. I mean, up at the top, it looks like there's some more details left intact. So maybe once we get up there, we can see some more. You can see the original molding and roof is still up there. Some lights. Right, I'm going to try to walk through this death, death trap. You think there's still a lobby intact? Uh, let me advance this just a bit. Looks like there is a lobby under here. This looks like the ceiling of it. Looks like the ceiling of a lobby. Hopefully it's somewhat intact underneath this. Let's go down. Hopefully there's a way to access it. Yeah. Uh, that's not good. might have been used for something else at one point. Yeah. The other side might connect. Oh boy. I've yeah. never seen pictures of it though. Yeah. Nope. This is the lobby though. The lobby's used for something else. The tension between whites and African Americans in urban areas was reaching its boiling point, and race riots were breaking out across the country. In 1967, one of the deadliest and most destructive race riots broke out right here in Newark. 26 people died, hundreds were injured, and countless city blocks were destroyed. By this point, many of the remaining businesses and middle class citizens had finally been convinced to leave. The Proctor's Palace Theater would close just one year later in 1968. By the time all the white residents had fled for the suburbs, the cities had already begun to deindustrialize, leaving very little economic opportunity for. Yeah, completely empty. This looks like there's moss hanging from the ceiling in here. It's gross. It's like the sound deadening tiling. Yeah, it's falling apart. It's probably not good to breathe in. I'm sure there's part asbestos in it. I'm sure there is. All the projectors are gone, but it still mm -hmm. looks really cool in here. An old heater. Board. Yep, there's another theater up here. A theater on top of a theater. They added these drainage pipes way after, and they're kind of falling apart. This theater is nowhere near as grand, but it's still cool. They just put fluorescent lights up in here. Yeah. Penthouse Theater, as that other sign said. It's in here for a theater. Kind of weird. Unless 
Mostly only did nighttime shows or something. Or had really good blackout curtains. But like, why would you go through the trouble of installing all these windows if you were just going to black them out anyway? This window actually has some of the blackout curtains still here. So these would be over all the windows to black them out. They still got some sandbags to provide balancing weight. pretty common for abandoned elevator cars to be placed the top floor because the counterweight is actually heavier than the empty elevator car. Misaligned elevator cars though, something about that is just so creepy. I've said it before but I have like nightmares where an elevator car arrives and it's like not lined up with the floor you're on and you get in and something bad happens. Yeah. is up here. Electrical boxes, smaller stage lights. Wow, an old battery. That is so cool. This place is a time capsule. dollars for the internet for the National Theater Supply Company. 1931. It's not a duplicate. It's a full-length Technicolor. So dear to my heart was a Disney film released in 1948 by none other than RKO Pictures. It was re-released in 1964, just a few years before this theater shut down, which is likely why the sign is still here. This was a tall theater. I don't know how much to trust this. What's it made out of? I think it's metal. Yeah. This screen looks... As you can see, that's quite a review of uh, an old theater, and it uh, brings the past back to life a bit. I didn't get everything in, but I tried to get uh, uh, enough in for a quick review, and uh, that'll do it. Uh, let me get a final screen on here. One moment, please.